Lately, there has been a lot of rumors going around about Intel's newest line of CPUs, but how many of them are true? Well, in this box, there's a marshmallow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is the newest big daddy of Intel's lineup, the i9-4900K, which we are going to be throwing into this, the new Aura Z790 Master from Gigabyte, to take a look at how both of them holds up. So let's take a look at the motherboard first. This is Gigabyte's newest high-spec board. It looks incredible, and it just might be. Hold on to your seats because you are in for a good one. Because it's built to overclock, the Master X comes with 20 plus 1 plus 2 phase digital VRMs, which, for anyone who's curious, are basically little voltage filters that reduces the amount of electricity going from your power supply to your CPU and cleans it up, making sure that your CPU's power stays smooth and consistent. One downside is that they get pretty hot. Luckily, these are covered with some bulky VRM cooling fins, which Gigabyte claims has 10 times more surface area than the standard VRM heatsink. So they should run cooler and more efficiently. It even comes with a few temperature and noise sensors, so if the heat gets too high, it'll let you know. Storage-wise, you've got quite a few options, like four SATA 3 ports, four M.2 Gen 4 slots, and a blazing fast NVMe Gen 5 slot, with a great built-in heatsink to help it run cool. All of this built into a board that is designed to be easy to build in. You can access all of your NVMe slots without needing a screwdriver and taking the GPU out is as easy as pushing this little button. Now if you're someone who quickly runs out of USB ports, they've got you covered on that too. Just take a look at this thing. It's also got Wi-Fi 7 and a 10 gigabit Ethernet port built into it. The design Gigabyte went with overall is pretty nice. It's got this cool black and gray color scheme, which I think will fit nicely into most builds. And what would a top of the line board be without a little bit of RGB? Thank goodness it doesn't look like a unicorn threw up all over it. But that's just my opinion. As is the fact that I'm about to say, I'll give it a solid 9 out of 10 on looks. Now the question is, what would you change off this board to make it a 10 out of 10? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, it's really impressive that they managed to have this beautiful look while also having it be as tough as it is, they say it's built to last. Gigabyte claims that you can switch the RAM out more than 5,000 times. And while I'd love to test that, I'll just take their word on it. But unless you want me to sit there 5,000 times, let me know in the comments below. As I mentioned, this is a Z790 board, which comes out of the box with support for Intel's newest generation. So yes, Intel stuck with the LGA1700 sockets for their newest chips. Other things this CPU has in common with its older brother is that it has 24 cores, 32 threads, and high temperatures. Unlike the 3900K though, this one comes with some slightly higher clock speeds. That's right, a base of 3.2 GHz and it's capable of reaching up to 6 GHz right out of the box. And while it definitely still runs hot, it handles it slightly better. Not throttling as hard and as quickly. Now while it's not the biggest jump in performance over the last generation, the extra kick it does have definitely comes in handy. If you want a more detailed look into the newest line of Intel CPUs, I definitely recommend checking out Linus Tech Tips and Gamers Nexus videos next. Anyways, this chip is impressive, as we expected. This motherboard is really impressive, as we expected. And the price is also up there like we expected. The one thing I can really say that stands out about this board to me is the build quality. They went all in. It is heavy, it is sturdy. I can say that if you want top of the line quality, this will be it. Anyways, this was Theofan from We Do Tech doing the research so you don't have to. Cheers. Oh, and I didn't forget. Cue the B-roll sequence.